Hey, Adam Bame here, and today we're playing F-Zero Climax on my Japanese Wii U. I know you're probably thinking at least two things right now. One of them being, you have a Japanese Wii U, and this is a Japanese game, so why is there so much English? And I can't tell you why there's so much English, I guess. But I can tell you why I have a Japanese Wii U. And just check this out. So, break, L and R, slide... Um, so brake, I have to press both, D-pad up does nothing, turn left and right, boost with B, acceleration with A. Okay, I think I got this. It's been a while since I've played. And I like Lucy Liberty because of her controls. She's, it's easy to do corners with her, and in a game where you're moving so fast, it helps to have as much control over your vehicle as possible. And we got the worst start possible. I got an initial boost and then slowed down quite a bit. Michael Chain here is in the lead, but not anymore. So we passed him. But I was gonna say why I have a Japanese Wii U. And that's because I'm studying Japanese and I'll actually be going to school for a Japanese studies major in the fall. I'm getting an associate degree in visual communications um, less than a month now. And then I'll have the summer to work at my family's restaurant because we own a drive-in restaurant and that's a lot of fun most of the time. It's pretty good. I make decent money there and I have a fun time at work. But anyway, Japanese Wii U. It's really nice to have for studying Japanese because, you know, I have to be able to read Final Lap in English in this game to enhance my Japanese abilities while I'm not studying. So I look around on the screen here I see so much English and it's benefiting my Japanese a ton, but seriously, I do have some games that help a lot, like Splatoon is pretty interesting, um, I have Super Mario Maker and Pokken Tournament on my Japanese Wii U, as well as all of the F-Zero games except for the Super Nintendo one, because I'm a pretty big F-Zero fan. I'm not the best F-Zero player in the world, but I love F-Zero games. I've never been able to finish F-Zero GX, unfortunately. It's just too challenging, and life is too short. So, I'm not ever going to finish F-Zero GX. If you've ever played it, and you know what the story mode is like, how they have the nine missions, and you have to beat it on normal, hard, and very hard to unlock all of the characters, and playing on normal is honestly hard enough, but I was able to finish all of the missions on normal and hard, and I think about three of them on very hard. And I'm happy enough with that, honestly. Back in the early college days, I once spent eight hours trying to beat one mission. And it was just a waste of time. I could have been enjoying the sun, playing frisbee or fetch with my dogs. So, life's too short to be playing F-Zero all the time. So, I'm doing one Grand Prix right now. And then I'm going to school, so because I have school, and web design is important. Um, yeah, it's important when I'm in a video production field. But I guess learning to do websites would be useful if I wanted to manage my own site and have complete control over it, unlike a WordPress site. I have a WordPress site for my normal videos right now, not for my gaming videos, but... Maybe learning HTML and CSS is useful, but I don't see it yet, so it's a little challenging for me to stay focused in the class. But I have to pass the class, otherwise I don't get to transfer schools and study Japanese in the fall because the school I'm transferring to probably wouldn't be too happy if I didn't pass web design and get the degree that I said I'm going to have by the time I start school there. So yeah, pretty important to pass web design. Pretty sure I've got an A or a B going right now, so it's all good. Anyway, Japanese Wii U, back to that. Most of the games, it's pretty useful for studying. And I enjoy, for not for studying, but for practicing while not studying. F-Zero is not the best example unless you read the characters' names at the end of each race. But other than that, Japanese Wii U is pretty nice. I have a flash drive, or like a hard drive inserted in my console because I just got the 8GB white console 
and I'm using an external storage device to get all of my games. I'm doing download for all of them, so I'm not using PlayAsia or anything to import my games because that would be pretty expensive too. I'd rather just pay the full price for the digital version and get it the same day. So that's my plan. I guess I can tell you I've been to Japan twice before and I didn't get too many opportunities to practice speaking Japanese, oddly enough, even though I was there for five and a half weeks the first time and two months the second time. But I was teaching English at summer camps and we weren't really allowed to speak in Japanese to the kids. So I had to basically speak in English to them the whole time using really basic English. And it was a lot of fun. It was an amazing experience. But I wish I would have had an opportunity to practice my Japanese more. Because, you know, I've been studying the language on my own. I can read and write quite a few characters. I cannot speak well at all because I don't have conversation partners and I can ask for directions or order food but that's pretty much the extent of my speaking ability I can't think on my feet fast enough to be able to hold a conversation in Japanese even though I have some Japanese friends I always talk to them in English I use it as a crutch because they're so good at English why speak in Japanese to them and that's a mindset that I shouldn't have, but I do have it right now, and I'm trying trying so hard to get rid of it. But the, some of them did say, the next time we talk, we have to speak in Japanese at them. So I haven't talked to them in a while, and I really should catch up with them and speak in Japanese. And maybe once I start school, I'm starting to practice with people in my classes. I'll get better at speaking. I already know a decent amount of vocab I can write quite a few characters, all of the basic syllables and a bunch of kanji characters which were brought over from China and I think that's a pretty decent start. So once, once I can do grammar better I guess, for lack of a better way of explaining it, I'll be able to say quite a bit all at once because I already know a fair amount of words, I just can't put them into full sentences just yet. And I believe we have one race left. I'm going to keep talking about my Japan trip for a little bit. So, basically the program I went through was the Guy Healy USA Summer Camp. And the way it works is they have all these partner schools in Wisconsin. I live in Wisconsin, and I don't go to one of their partner schools. And, like, say, one of the UW-Wisconsin, University of Wisconsin schools um, gets 20 students that are able to go... Um, that's great, and then they hire a few online applicants because I attend a tech school right now I didn't actually get one of the spots um, right away because they were hiring basically people who are able to attend the university schools that they partner with and reserve so many spots for so I had to sell myself and eventually I was accepted for the program in May of 2014, the middle of May, and I left on July 1st. So, I left on the same day, the second time around too, I just stayed a lot longer. And honestly, it's been an amazing time. I'm not going this summer. I have to work and make money because through the program, we didn't get paid for the time we were there. But don't discount it right away because it was actually pretty amazing. They paid for our airfare and they paid for our food, travel, like pretty much everything except for the entertaining things we did on our days off. I couldn't have asked for a better experience. I was there for two months last summer and I spent less than a thousand dollars total, including the airfare because they paid for it. And it was just amazing. So, Lushi Liberty. I probably botched that a little bit, but we took first place. And I said Lucy Liberty, the character's name, because that was how it was written. So, total rank, first place. We did pretty well here. I'm happy with that. If you want to see more F-Zero Climax gameplay, let me know. We can ramp up the difficulty a bit. I may do another video in this series anyways, but let me know if you want to see more. Thanks, guys.